What if you built a tunnel straight through Earth and jumped in? Would you fall forever? Would you get cooked like a human hot pocket? Would you pop out the other side doing parkour in Australia? Short answer, you'd become a very confused, very crispy Newtonian yo-yo. Okay, let's set the stage for this scientifically suicidal circus act. You dig a tunnel from one side of the Earth to the exact opposite side, that's called an antipode. Think New Zealand to Spain or Argentina to China. The tunnel goes straight through the planet, not curved around. And let's pretend it's magically reinforced so it doesn't doesn't collapse under pressure or get flooded with lava. Real tunnels through the mantle tend to have, you know, melting problems. It's also airless, no friction, no wind resistance. We're talking vacuum tube conditions, like Elon Musk's Hyperloop, but way more murdery. You, brave hypothetical human, jump in feet first. No jetpack, no bungee cord, just your fragile flesh body and Earth's gravity. Got it? Good. Let's fall. As you leap into the void, Earth's gravity pulls you down with increasing speed. You start accelerating, 9.8 meters per second squared. At first, it feels like a thrilling skydiving trip, minus the parachute, but soon, it's more like plummeting into a black hole made of dirt. By the time you reach the core, about 6,371 kilometers in, you'll be going over 28,000 kilometers per hour. That's roughly 17,500 mile per hour orbital velocity, the same speed astronauts use to not fall back to Earth. Congratulations, you're now faster than most commuter trains. Slightly less comfortable, though. Now things get weird. You pass the center of the Earth, where gravity flips. Instead of pulling you toward the middle, it now pulls against your motion, slowing you down. But because there's no friction, you don't stop. You coast upward through the second half of the tunnel, slowing down all the way until you reach the surface on the other side of the planet. Your speed? Zero. Your landing? Dramatic. Your audience? Confused kangaroos. That's right. You'd come to a perfect if brief stop at the far end of the tunnel, before falling back in again. Welcome to pendulum hell. Without air resistance, you'd yo-yo back and forth between the two ends of the tunnel forever. Fall down. Zoom through the core. Emerge feet first in Spain. Pause. Fall back. Rinse. Repeat. It's like a swing set from the underworld, a vertical trampoline with no mercy. But let's add air to the mix, because Earth has it, and reality is annoying. If the tunnel is filled with air, you're toast, literally. The friction from air resistance heats you up fast, like microwaving a marshmallow until it screams fast. You'd slow down, overheat, and eventually settle somewhere near the center of the Earth, suspended in air and regret. Also, the air pressure down there is about 3.6 million times what you're used to. Your lungs? Pancakes. So, what happens if you build a tunnel through the Earth and jump in? In a perfect vacuum, you oscillate forever like a human metronome, in real life, you die from heat, pressure, and gravity-induced poor planning. But hey, for a brief moment, you did make it to the other side of the world. Faster than any plane, hotter than any sauna, dumber than any idea in the history of tunnels. Final verdict, gravity always wins, but at least you got a round trip.